Hey folks, John and Jim here from Thunderbolt Locks. And today we're gonna cover the three most frequently asked questions on social media about the Thunderbolt Locks. And at the end of this video, we're gonna attempt to break into this van. So stay tuned. Okay, the first question that we always get asked, probably the most popular, uh, Gilbert writes, nice, but all they have to do is break a window. Good point. Great, great point, yeah. Um, 3M makes a film that you can install or adhere to the glass itself that is designed to reinforce the glass. So I would imagine there's limitations to this, but it's definitely a layer of protection and it's definitely gonna slow someone down. It treats a, a side window or a door window more like a windshield. So there's a membrane in there. It's kind of like, it's hard to get through. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna keep that glass intact and not just shatter, so. Now, this is a plumber's van and they have a window here in their cargo area, not recommended. If you have a work van, you wanna protect your tools, get a van that doesn't have windows. Now, if you do have windows, we do have something that we recommend. Window screen. This is gonna be a guard against getting through the glass itself. This gets mounted on the inside behind the glass. There's an area that this will fit right into and it gets secured along the outer edges. Again, it's gonna be a layer of protection. If someone was to attempt to go through the uh, treated glass itself, you're gonna run right into this barrier and I think that uh, it, it would be extremely difficult, again, to get beyond that. Layers of protection, we always say you want layers of protection. So uh, a good alarm is your first. And as soon as they start to attempt to break in, the alarm should be going off. Shock sensor is gonna be a key component in a security system. Uh, most have a light touch adjustment. So if someone was testing the waters, coming up to see if this vehicle has security, it should emit a worn away chirp, Anything beyond that is gonna go into full mm -hmm. trigger and the alarm will be sounding fully at that point. If you have a work van, don't put windows on the cargo area. Have a bulkhead barrier separating the cab from the cargo area. So if a thief does penetrate the cab area, they can't get into the You're the dividing cargo. this van into two different sections at that point. So from here where your bulkhead is installed all the way back, is gonna be its own secured area. All right, let's uh, move on to the next frequently asked question. Vincent Boggs, how the heck does a sliding bolt secure a sliding door? And he has four laughing faces and there's 12 people that have also thrown emojis on there with laughing faces. So they just don't understand the yep. concept, I yep. think, at this point. And this is one of the things that we wanna to convey to people on how the Thunderbolt lock engages and prevents the sliding door from opening. So Jim, I'm gonna let you take it from here. Yes, I've seen many of the questions uh, when, I've, when I've looked on social media, and I think it's just a misunderstanding of how the lock itself gets installed. Um, so what, what people are um, thinking is that our housing and deadbolt would get mounted in the front here, and that is incorrect. The mounting of the housing itself gets mounted into the rear edge of the sliding door and it strikes into the C-pillar. And this door has nowhere to go. If you were to attempt to open this door, it, it does not have the ability to move out or back at that point. So what, what I refer to it is a cavity. It's in, right now, this door is inside its cavity, and for it to open, it has to come out, away from the van itself, out of the cavity, and then slide this in this direction to open. The Thunderbolt, when it's engaged back into this C-pillar, it cannot come out of the cavity, and that's how it stops a thief from opening that door. And the last commonly asked question on social media is, always about getting into the van, different ways thieves can break into the van. And Bill writes, Sawzall with a carbide blade, 10 seconds and done. If you have an arsenal of power tools at your disposal, okay, like a, like a Sawzall, 
um, you, you're going to have to, I, th I see the only benefit of that would be if you had some type of a uh, external mounted puck lock that you could come behind and cut the plates off to remove this, therefore removing any security yeah. at your, at, that you would have on your van. Because there's a target, they know, they know what to, to go after. But with the Thunderbolts, the beauty of the Thunderbolt, it's internal, you can't see it, you can't pick it, yeah. you don't know where to cut. Yeah. Randy writes crowbar. Couldn't a thief just use a crowbar and access the van? Great point. I think that the crowbar is going to be the most commonly used tool to try to gain entry to a van itself. <clears throat> the crowbar or pry bar, someone is going to attempt to pinch any one of these seams to pry this door open. And once the thunderbolt is engaged into the C pillar, all they're going to be doing is prying against that deadbolt and not going to be able to get that door open. So I, I, I can't see where the, the thunderbolt. Uh, Enough talk, uh, Jim. Protect. I say, I say we time. show them. We're going to show you. Always time to break, to break into in. the van or at least attempt to. Here go. Well, yeah, I mean, the Thunderbolt's holding its own. And I don't know how long a thief's going to go at it.